Very happy. Huh? I want you to Good night. Senpai! Welcome back. Too. Is this really your first time snowboarding? Just gotta keep your balance, right? Whoa! <laughs> Senpai! You're too fast! <laughs> you gotta open up your stance, do you get it? Come on! It's... it's easier said than... Huh? Ah! <laughs> 
we've been down this slope a bunch of times now. Hey, what do you think of my snowboarding skills? I bet you're head over heels with them. Well, yeah, but only because we were falling down all the time. Teddy kept crashing into me. It's not fair that Kanji gets to keep skiing with Nao-chan. I'm completely against one-on-one -on -one personal lessons. You were doing it on purpose, you bastard! You guys are completely ignoring my lines, huh? So this was your first time skiing, Nao-chan? I can barely even stand upright. Kanji-kun is teaching me, but it's not going as I'd hoped. I keep going in the wrong direction or falling over without warning. I hope I do a little better tomorrow. You don't look it, but you really don't like losing, do you? Should we go up one more time? What? I'm too tired. My legs are giving out on me. My fur's all frozen, too. I feel like Frosty the Snow Bear. We've got tomorrow, too, so let's call it a day. Aren't you hungry, Chie? I didn't even notice it until now. I'm super hungry! What are we having for dinner at the lodge? I think so cooked in non-regional style. That non-regional part caught my attention. So, it's a non-style style? What is that supposed to taste like? I think you would only call it something like that if you weren't all that confident about your food. I doubt the chefs would appreciate hearing that from you guys. That's so mean! I remember you yelling about how delicious that cake we made was. I wasn't yelling! And that cake was only good because Naoto helped you. That's not true! It was thanks to the cookbook. I don't care which it was! And you guys should have been using a cookbook in the first place! There's something more important at hand right now! Soul is a fish, right? What about some real meat? Meat! How much of a carnivore are you? I don't think I saw any real meat dishes on the menu. No beef? Or pork? Or even chicken? She's got a point. And considering how much we've been skiing, I could use something with a lot of protein. Meat. Has the day finally come that you all want a little taste of Teddy? No, we never do that. The bear meat is pretty gamey after all. You're so cruel, Yuki-chan. Teddy's still in the bathhouse? We saw these college girls while we were having dinner. He said he was gonna hold out in the bath until they showed up. Sheesh, what's he up to now? You say that, but I bet you wish you were there with him right now, don't you? What? That's the worst. Wouldn't you rather spend time with us? I mean, me rather than people like that, senpai? Dude, how awesome is it that we all get to stay overnight like this? And it's co-ed! So why don't we... No. But I didn't suggest anything yet! Sorry, were you gonna say play cards? Why don't we go night skiing? I've always been impressed by people who can do that. Then we'd have to take another bath afterwards. Honestly, I'm already exhausted from snowboarding all day. Then why don't we do what people usually do when they get together at night? Tell ghost stories. I don't know. Isn't that usually a summer thing? Yeah, um, I think I'll have to disagree too. Huh? Could it be that you're actually scared of ghost stories? Stuff like in those stories actually happens in the mountains. That one time during shooting was enough for me. What? Stop it! Oh, our inn has a lot of spooky stuff too. Once, we asked a customer how he liked his room, and he said the restroom was too dark. But his room didn't have one. And sometimes, when you take pictures in that room during Obong, they don't come out right. Oh, that's pretty creepy. Oh, and I heard that Haniwa are occasionally found in the mountains around here. They say this entire area could have been a grave site long ago. 
folklore has little valid scientific evidence, but is a result of cultural significance and strong story elements. Any ancient burial ground is likely just the site of a t t temple. So, um... You're scared too? Yes. This is starting to get pretty good. How are you in scary stories? Oh, so you got any special stories of your own up your sleeve? I can't believe you guys! I'm having no part of this! I'm plugging my ears! Would it be scarier to only hear bits and pieces of stories like that? Shut up, Moranji! Why are you pushing so hard for us to tell ghost stories? You stop calling me that, damn it! Well, I'll start off then. Yukiko can go last. Her stories are off the charts creepy. Let's see. It was over three years ago. A friend of mine in middle school told me this. It seems his sister went to a pretty prestigious private school, but she ended up running with the wrong crowd. Supposedly, she and a bunch of other girls were bullying another girl in their class. He said that she'd come home every night and laugh over the phone with her friends about the kid they were harassing. One day, she suddenly came home with a pale face. Ever since then, she started locking herself up in her room. No matter how much he asked what was going on, she'd completely ignore him. But he could hear her mumbling. She'd keep saying to herself, It's my turn next. My friend got worried, so he went to ask his sister's friends what was going on. But it turns out, all her friends had passed out for mysterious reasons and had been taken to the hospital. He was so scared that he didn't know what to do. That night, at around 11.30, suddenly his sister started screaming in her room. He ran into her room, and she was covering her ears and repeating, She's calling me! I can hear her! But my friend couldn't hear anything. And soon, his sister rushed out of the house. The next morning, she was found unconscious outside the school gates, just like her friends had been. In the end, she was taken to the hospital and recovered. But when he asked the people at school what happened, it seems the girl they were bullying was dead. They said that the girl must have become a spirit that haunted them one by one. That's impossible. Your story is full of inconsistencies. Wait, but I think I've actually read a police report like that. That's not denying it. You're supporting it. Wait, did she die? Well, I think she turned up okay. Well, that doesn't matter. That wasn't bad for a leadoff, right? Well, you're next. What do you have in mind? You're gonna do this to us, too? It sounds realistic when you tell it. So? So? And then? Ooh, one time at the inn there was this... something I heard something just now that was unusual it, it's just our imaginations anyway keep going we can't just end it here that'd be even scarier whoa that's freaky something about a nose that long ah! uh, uh, blackout oh shit something just went past me Where's the switch? How dare you to think you're eating all the snacks while I'm gone? I'm gonna curse you! Get him? Yeah, let's finish him off. I'm sorry, Teddy. Only people have human rights. What's come over you? Why are you so mad at me? 
So it was Teddy. Damn it, he freaked us all out. And, and what happened after that? Someone's full of energy. You guys were up talking all last night, too. How do you know about that? Don't tell me. It's no surprise that they heard you, considering how loud you were. I told you over and over, the walls were thin. Uh, oh, so that's all. I thought he might have been peeping. We were talking about some pretty risque stuff in there. Sorry, Kanji. Did you get a nosebleed all over your pillow? Shut up. We want to listen to you hens clucking all night anyway. I think I would. Just a little. I may have done a little listening. I heard things about Nao-chan's size and Yuki-chan's shape. Stop lying, Ted! We didn't talk about anything like that! Wait, what about my shape? Have I changed somehow? You're letting him get to you. You're being manipulated. Jeez, forget about it. Let's just enjoy our day skiing. Let's go, senpai! Hold it right there. R Rise san don't you think you're being a little too... You know, you've been hogging the same ski partner way too much? Huh? But it works out so nicely. You and Yosuke Senpai are both on snowboards. Teddy and Yukiko Senpai keep taking the steep slopes and won't slow down for me. And Kanji seems to want to be with Naoto-kun. Hey, what are you getting at? So, it's only natural that I'd pair up with Senpai yesterday. He and I will take it slow. You don't have to worry about me. Come on, Senpai! Let's go! The logic is 100% ironclad! Showbiz people have amazing ways of persuading people. Why are you impressed? <clears throat> the, the reason we're on this trip is for all of us to make some good memories of spending time with Senpai. In other words, we should all be trying to have some skiing time with him. Crap, you're right. You're right! I, I want to make memories with Senpai too! Sometimes when you say things, I wonder if you have some hidden agenda behind them. Th then I'm not snowboarding today. I'm switching to skis. Hey, that's no fair. I want to leave my ski tracks of love with Sensei too. Um, hey! Why don't we let Senpai decide for himself? Be honest and just make the call. Whoa, wait a sec, everyone. I don't like where this is headed. Some of you sound like you're out for blood. Let's all enjoy the slopes together. Th that would be best. I concur. <sighs> Thanks for not answering before I could get that under control. Wait, you were gonna choose me? I'd be too afraid for my life to enjoy any of the skiing. Uh, well, let's go enjoy the slopes. I'm kind of surprised. I didn't think there was anything you weren't good at, Naoto-kun. How's it going? Do you think you're ready to start going for real? No. Not at all. Quit freaking out about it. Open up your legs and point your toes in or else you're gonna speed up. Come on, keep your balance with your knees. B but if I stand with my feet further apart, I I'll fall down for sure. Like I keep saying, you'll be fine. Even if you do slide down, I'll catch you. You're so nice, Kanji. You never said anything like that to me. You already know how to ski. I don't have to teach you. Well, if I ever do need someone to teach me, I definitely want someone nice like Senpai to do it. Right, Senpai? They're doing that today, too? It's more like falling than skiing. 
Maybe they just don't know how to stop? Well, they ain't dead yet, so I guess they can stop somehow. <laughs> ah, it's Chie Senpai and Yosuke Senpai. Yoo hoo! These two are looking good. I'm so jealous that they can snowboard. People who are good at it can look so cool. But I'm definitely more into skiing with you right now, Senpai. I feel bad that we're in other people's way, so shall we get going? Please, wait! Can you stay with me until I reach the bottom? I have no idea which way I'll end up going. Okay, last one there's a rotten egg. See you at the bottom. Wait, weren't you listening? I can't turn or stop. Don't worry, someone's going to be there to catch you. Right, Kanji? Huh? That's what... Um, uh, right! <laughs> so fired up about I don't really see why you're so intense about this if you're gonna catch me then I'm gonna jump right into your arms um I can trust you then well I'll be counting on you geez you're too nervous now Tokun you just need to ski straight what the hell's he doing now he's not even wearing skis I think I'm going to walk. are more tired than I thought. I thought I'd have learned to not fall down anymore, but I must be tensing my legs too much. I'm sorry, you must hate having a total beginner holding you back like this. I've always been able to pick up new skills when they become necessary, but I've never had to ski before. Murder mysteries may take place in snowy mountain retreats and novels, but it's not that often in real life. Cutting a telephone line in a mountain cottage during a blizzard is obviously suicidal, too. <sighs> I wonder how long it's been since I last tried so hard to just have fun. I used to think that these frivolities were a waste of time, that they wouldn't make me any better of a person. <laughs> Though thinking back on it, I have to laugh. I was all alone then. I want to come back here again. That's fine. I'm sure it would, um, increase the efficiency of practice. Mmm. No, I wouldn't be able to focus on practicing at all. Shall we start heading back? The snow's starting to fall quite heavily. Which way should we be headed to get back to the lodge? Oh, well, I thought I was simply following you today, so I wasn't checking on our course. You don't sound very confident, but then again, I'm sure we'll get somewhere as long as we stick to the ski course. We should leave soon then. I can't go very fast after all. Is this really the right way? It's not that I don't believe you, but I feel that we've already been past this area. Could it be that we're lost? I don't want to admit it, though. This is a problem. The snow could be concealing small rivers or cliffs beneath us. I don't think we should be walking around aimlessly. Actually, I'm reaching my limits. impossible the snow's too soft 
It needs to at least set for a night. Uh, look! Isn't that a cottage? Thank goodness. Even if that place is empty, there should be things there. We may be able to get ourselves warm. Let's go check it out. Excuse me, is anyone here? Mm. It was unlocked. I wonder why, though. Some places don't use padlocks because they've been known to freeze shut in extreme conditions. Let's just consider ourselves lucky for now. Well, a little. I'll be all right. We've found shelter, so I'll manage from here. Um, do you happen to have your cell phone? I tried making numerous calls while we were lost, and my phone's battery has run out. This is a problem. Could all the snow be disrupting the signal? The blizzard isn't calming down either. I doubt it will last long, considering the weather here in the mountains. But this still isn't good. We may be indoors, but the cold is a very real threat. <sighs> b by the way, um, warming each other with our bodies would be ineffective in our case. That only works when your clothes are wet. Or one person's body temperature has been significantly lowered. Uh, right. No one asked for details. Sorry. But on a more serious note, we do need to find a way to warm ourselves, or we'll be in trouble. Ah, upon closer inspection, this sunken hearth uses charcoal and not firewood. Thank goodness. If we can get some ventilation in this room, we'll be able to use this. Now we need something to start a fire, but a place like this should have some tools available. Ah, <sighs> it seems we won't have to worry for the time being. Ah, Prometheus, thank you for fire. This is, well, a more effective way to get warm. We can't let any last bit of heat go to waste, after all. <laughs> Where could we be? I thought that we'd been walking towards the lodge. Even once the blizzard settles, it's risky to walk around in the mountains at night. It seems we have no choice but to stay here. Mm. Strange. We're in quite a pinch, but some part of me is actually enjoying this. All alone with another, stuck in a mountain cottage for an entire night. <laughs> Yikes. I think this feeling is referred to as the suspension bridge effect. Senpai? Um... That turned on right now, correct? Why? Yes. I can't pretend it didn't happen. Whoa, Senpai? What are you doing? That... You should stop doing that. I, I mean, this is hardly an ideal location to be trying this. <gasps> stop! Before you go too deep! What are you guys doing? This isn't that kind of mystery, Detective Prince! <laughs>